Good evening, guys. It's about uh, quarter after six on Sunday. We're working on the foundation wall for the house and what I'll call the high wall. So basically, uh, we still have two more tiers to go up from over there where Nick is, and I'll show you exactly where he's at on the wall here in just a minute. Now, this is the reason I'm calling it a high wall. Um, this is... Um, basically the entrance to the lower garage and what had happened here to you know, Shirley and I decided um, that the ceiling height um, originally was spec for 10 feet uh, it was going to be about 10 feet 6 with these forms um, which we were okay with until we noticed that uh, it was going to take too much feel unnecessary feel to uh, bring all that up to grade that would have put this layer uh, four more blocks high so if you kind of get an idea of where that wall would have been then if you carry that across this is the parking area here or the, the driveway a massive amount of fill dirt to go in there I couldn't even tell you how many tons so everything that I'm looking at right here straight on is one of the garages. Um, so this will all be filled with uh, material. And then coming out from this area right here uh, will be called, uh, it's a product called Ready Rock, which is the same product that they use to build, uh, you know, bridges and stuff like that with. And it will offset and then tear upwards to the point and then that will retain that entire wall of dirt and then that will carry out and then wrap around to where we will drive in so uh, this wall right here was supposed to be framed and this lower garage wall is supposed to be framed it's just a knee wall to get out of the frost line and get us back up um, but when we eliminated the top rack, um, which that wall over there is at final grade, when we eliminated the top rack, um, we had a lot of leftover material. So instead of buying lumber, and I do have some up here on top, um, but I would need three-quarter plywood that would go into the concrete or to form the concrete. And, you know, it's, in some places, 95 plus dollars a sheet. But uh, we decided to, let's go ahead and cut that in and just do the whole thing in ICF. Even though the uh, driveway or the, the garage doesn't need insulated, um, overall it'll make it a better platform. And I guess one of the benefits to that is, is that is a 12-inch block that we're going to use already anticipated that amount of concrete anyways so the concrete will be thicker at that point which will give me an overhang into the garage of approximately six inches versus the original four that it was planned for and that will give extra support to the concrete slab above uh, for the garage so not a bad thing uh, to use that form it's going to save you know it, it potentially with all the feel that it would have taken to bring it up to that other level uh, making this decision is going to save on the material for the framing of the concrete forms and the feel to it you know plus the drywall on the inside and everything that has to happen there um that possibly could save about sixty thousand dollars if not more uh, for making that decision and the final basement height will still come out with drywall and after everything's finished to approximately eight feet ten and a half inches and that's probably more than most you know, garage or basements and I, I know the one at my house is 93 inches not even eight feet so we're gaining you know, decent there. So, coming through the door from the, the garage into the main area, and this area right here will be framed up just to the 
footer level that'll carry across and then this will be a set of steps running up here like that to get you you know from the main wreck area down into the lower garage so, so just uh nick just threw a saw at me that uh kind of give you an idea of where he's at um that that is pretty high i mean <laughs> my hand stretched all the way out and can you hand me that saw though and now he wants a saw he threw the saw at me because he's mad for being up on top i guess and i just have to ask youtube a question it's been uh talked about all day um this is an adora block and for some reason that young man right there thinks it's white when it's actually like a lime green and it's been verified it's lime green but if you can make any comments to it that would be awesome so we can just verify who's right and who's wrong here you know and even if you say it's white i know that you're already wrong because it's lime green <laughs> but uh at any rate he's going to be uh tying in this t right here and then carrying that t all the way across and as you can see back over here we still have two more tiers to go up so let me give you just a different view of the elevator pad here and then you know so that's all working on there now on that other side you can barely see up and over that's where we're bringing up the forms from the other side to uh, make the garage and uh, I'm just trying to get a different height here level there we go there's my truck and I got out of it so of course there's uh, everything up to up to grade we've uh, I checked this with a uh, transit and we are dead on all the way through so close to where the guys are working now on the other side of that tall wall um, will be the sunroom overlooking that wonderful view. Yeah, so uh, at any rate, just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on up here today, Chris is actually down on the wall helping hand and stuff over there, and he's even below the forms. And like I said, we still got each one of them forms is 18 inches, so we still have three more feet to go up from the point that he's at there, which uh, definitely will put him in the nosebleed section, but pretty cool. Just so I'll give you an update, he's up here pretty far. I'm concerned about him. Um, he feels safe, especially as we tie it into T um, over there, which is the garage he has that just a few minutes ago, and then that's, of course, concrete slab going out. But uh, that's stiffened the wall up quite a bit. Now, there will be a uh, alignment system put on all this, but, you know, we're not able to put um, all of our gravels in and stuff like that um, is we got a ton of step footers, which are those right there where it steps down. Um, in the different levels that we have, we weren't able to bring that material in, so uh, we're probably going to go with a system that looks like... A, a product called Zook alignment system, which allows a horizontal board alignment versus uh, vertical, and those brackets mount to the form instead of a rail system, so it'll be a little bit easier to tie in down here on the ground. So, at any rate, just an update where we're at at Blue Tarp Hill. Hope you like the videos. I'm going to see this house all the way through. Still a long way to go. If uh, you enjoyed the video, please like it and share it. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to Blue Tarp Hill Life on the Mountain. We appreciate you. God bless. Have a good evening.